All right, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is a team obviously on the rise. They win it, The way they finished off last season shows that they have the talent. The coaching is still in place, obviously. Good, strong GM. A lot of things are heading in the right directions, and the Steelers got some huge news at a key position that could be an indication of how far and how good this team could be next year and potentially going into the future. But before I get into that, Steelers fans, I got to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Now that we're deeper into the offseason, now that we're on the edge of free agency, scouting combines right around the corner, drafts not too far away, what's one guy? on the Pittsburgh Steelers roster. Obviously, you want the Steelers to make a, a bunch of key additions. What's one guy you want to see them get rid of? You know, obviously, whether it's a coach, a player, we want to hear from one, hear from you guys in the comment section below what Steeler you want off the roster in 2023, a little addition by subtraction going on. But all right, let's get to the story here involving none other than quarterback Kenny Pickett. And obviously, we hear all the time about quarterbacks making the big leap from year one, the rookie year, to year two. They're more familiar, right? Especially they went through the starting position. They went through the ropes. They're finally evolving into that leadership position of the team. Go back to Peyton Manning a couple decades ago. You obviously, Tom Brady, second year, won a Super Bowl, and so on and so forth. Joe Burrow, a couple years ago, took his team to the Super Bowl in his second year. And we're going to see the same kind of thing from Kenny Pickett next year, I believe. And you're also seeing a big indication of that according to the odds makers. And this was first brought to my attention on SteelersNation.com. So DraftKings Sportsbook already has its odds up for one of the most prestigious awards in the sport. Uh, while Kenny Pickett is certainly an outside shot at winning uh, the MVP, he's ahead of two recent Los Angeles Rams quarterbacks that have made the Super Bowl. Directly after the Pickett on the list in the odds, so this is the odds to win most valuable player in 2023, is Jared Goff, Matthew Stafford, and Kyler Murray. All right, so I'm going to back that up a little bit. So the odds makers, right? And we're talking about the odds makers. These are the people, the sports books that put millions, if not tens of millions of dollars behind the moves when they set these odds, right? They have to get these things right or within a regional margin of error or they go out of business. So they have the most resources, the best contacts, the most information, the brightest minds in the world to try and come up with the best way to shape these odds, right? Because they have so much money, so many dollars behind it, especially now that gambling has become more and more legal. And what we're starting to see from these sports books is they're starting to recognize that Kenny Pickett could be on the verge of something special because that's what really jumped out uh, jumped out at me according to this odds because Matthew Stafford he's been an MVP guy he's won a Super Bowl almost won a Super Bowl MVP I think Cooper Cup won the MVP but Stafford had a great drive at the end of the game as well he's a veteran guy he's been there before Rams are a good football team good coach how about Kyler Murray all the talent in the world has been to a Pro Bowl number one overall pick Heisman new coach that could be something there too why is he but Pickett has better odds than him and of course Jared Goff Detroit Lions the feel-good story in the NFL Jared Goff playing his best football they have so many weapons with Lines, Amon Ross St. Brown, that running game, offensive line, Jamison Williams coming around. And yet Kenny Pickett has better odds to win MVP. And what that's telling me, what the sports books here are telling me is that that combination of Pickett and Tomlin is setting the Steelers up to have a massive year next year. And I think one of the things you have to understand looking at the Steelers situation is you have to look at the environment, right? Because you look at their competition. You have the Browns. The Browns are going to Brown. I don't think they're going to be anything special next year. I think they're probably going to be a little bit better, but I don't think they're going to be world beaters. I don't think they have the physical talent. That Watson contract is going to be a lot more expensive, a lot quickly. It's going to really affect them. Of course, the Bengals are kind of heading into a similar boat as well, because obviously players want to get paid. There's going to lose some guys in free agency. There's some rumors that T. Higgins could get traded. Tyler Boyd might be gone as well. Their offensive line stinks despite spending a lot of money on it last season. Last season, You know, there's going to be some issues. The salary cap is going to come to bite them in the butt there eventually. And of course, you have the Baltimore Ravens with all of Lamar Jackson drama. Who knows what the quarterback position will be like next year for Baltimore. So the stage is kind of setting up really well for the Steelers and Kenny Pickett to be one of the front runners in that division uh, potentially. And keep in mind, they beat the Bengals uh, once last year and played them really, really close in another game. So this is a team when it comes to going against the best team in the division, the Bengals, the Steelers match up very well as we saw last season. But then let's take a step back and look at the broader AFC because when you look at the odds to win the MVP, you usually have to be a deep playoff run, great record, that kind of dynamic. And you look at the rest of the AFC, look at the big dogs. Look, the Chiefs are the Chiefs. We're not saying the Steelers are better than the Chiefs. We're not saying Kenny Pickett's better than Pat Mahomes. But the fact is the voters are going to get a little bit Mahomes fatigue. We're going to get tired of hearing about the Chiefs and Mahomes. So I think people are going to get tired of voting for Mahomes a little bit when it's all said and done. You look at the Buffalo Bills. I think the Buffalo Bills are on the decline. I think their windows pass. The salary cap of Josh Allen's contract is going to come and hit them. I think that <clears throat> the Dolphins are on the rise. The Jets are on the rise. I think the quarterback, the Patriots are going to be tough. And of course, the AFC South isn't very good. Trevor Lawrence is a nice quarterback, but that division stinks. No one's going to win the MVP out of that. So you're looking at Kenny Pickett here to have almost a Jalen Hurts for the Eagles last season, kind of run, where he's on that rookie deal, right? They get a nice, young, talented team around him. It's a great story. They come out of, you know, be an elite potential team, win the division after not winning division the prior year and I think that's the kind of momentum we're seeing behind Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers and I think that's why we're starting to see the sports books and the odds makers get behind it and let's not forget Pickett's biggest comp coming out of the draft by us by many other people too we're not going to be the only ones taking credit 
is that Joe Burrow and Kenny Pickett were considered the best comps, right? There was Joe Burrow with his swagger, his accuracy, decision-making experience at LSU. Kenny Pickett, same thing, accuracy, decision-making uh, experience coming out of Pitt, obviously. And now we're going to start seeing that as he gets into year two, gets more comfortable with the offense. All accounts show that Mitch Trubisky is going to be gone, so he's not going to have to worry about competing for the quarterback job. He's not going to have someone over his shoulder potentially pushing him out of the fold. Another year in the offense, I think that's why they kept Matt Canada. Honestly, they feel like Pickett can take that leap. They wanted some continuity there, didn't want to shake it up and of course you have george pickens you have an offensive line that i think they're gonna to have to improve but they certainly can Najee harris is a beast i'm a big fan of firemuth i think he's one of the more underrated players in the nfl you can keep going down the list the defense is going to be good they're going to keep him in a lot of games obviously good coach you know check a lot of boxes there and if kenny pickett and all signs indicate he will makes that big leap then I think the Steelers could be an 11-12, potentially even 13 win season uh, in 2023. And when you have a young quarterback, make that kind of leap and start putting up those kind of wins. And all the numbers and stats are going to go with it. And all the publicity is going to go with it. I think he's going to get those votes for MVP. And so that's what the, the sports books are saying. They're taking that kind of two steps back and say, the Steelers have a chance to actually be a lot better than people think next year. And Pickett has a chance to take that leap next year. And so we back that up and say, hey, listen, he's got good odds to win the MVP. So that's exactly what they're saying here. This is a great indication for Kenny Pickett going forward to have a really nice season next year. And the Pittsburgh Steelers specifically to have a really nice year as well. Potentially even winning. I think they actually have a strong chance to win the AFC North into 2023. So if I look at this news right here, this update by the Steelers, this is telling me that the sports books, the odd makers, the smart money, think that Pickett has a chance to take a huge leap and become something special, and the Steelers coincidentally will have a really big year. And so this kind of news right here, coming out of Vegas, coming out of the sports books, is a great sign for the Steelers going forward. <laughs>